Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Regeneration TV. I'm currently just outside of LA. We had a youth conference with the team. Some of us went, we had a great time. So today I wanna to update you on the, uh, on the uh, debate we had. Uh, I'm sorry for the bad news, but we weren't able to record it. It was a little too long. So it was about an hour long debate. Um, we had two sides. People didn't get to choose their sides. They drew names out of a hat. They had two weeks to prepare and they debated pro-life versus pro-choice. And there was people, um, you know, people had to, had to research both sides. And um, so they did a great job, held their composure very well. There was no fighting, cussing, or, you know, yelling, hating or anything like that. They did it re respectfully, educated, and um, composed. And that was the goal. We want to learn how to do that with people that maybe we don't agree with. So uh, the results was a pro-choice one. And it was based on their presentation, their research, and uh, uh, their prepared, just being prepared. Um, and they did a little better than the pro-life. It's not that we agree that pro-choice is correct, but the presentation and the research and the statistics, everything was better, better preparation. So that happened. We're a little sad, but we're glad. I'm really proud of everyone who did the research and uh, prepped uh, for it. So props to them. But one thing I did learn is that as, a, as Christians or as a youth, young adults group, we need to get more educated with this so that we can talk to people who are struggling with this or dealing with this. We need to be able to talk to them uh, about this uh, biblically as well as biologically. We need to know, you know, encourage them about what, what's happening with the baby. Um, you know, get to know what the process of abortion is, what happens after it. You know, everything involved so that we can talk to people about this issue because it is big. Uh, so uh, we're going to be discussing this in another two episodes. So I hope you look forward to it. And uh, next week we're going to talk about what is a biblical view on it. So for now, we did the big debate. Uh, you know, we learned a lot on either side, but we still have more to do. So uh, I think, like I said last time, is that we're, we're, we're for life. We believe every person is precious in the sight of God. We have intrinsic value no matter who you are. And that's, you know, for the unborn, for the born, for people who are lame, maimed, and just ugly. God loves you. Um, so, and for even a person who's done something like abortion or even for someone who's uh, done horrible things, God still loves you and he can forgive you. So that's our message today. And I hope you'll, you'll join us next time as we go over what the Bible really says about this. Because it doesn't ever mention abortion in the Bible. So I look forward to talking to you about it.